Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play God. Last time we made our way to Hanmaka City, where we spoke to the leader of the Bless base, and he told us to head on over to towards uh, Anchor Wad, because there's some monk there or something, and also one of the God Stones is there. So yeah, I'm real excited about that, getting my chakra levels up and all that. I'm still working on some, though. Yeah, working on chakras is like a never-ending task, so it looks like we're going through India at this point. And Angkor Wat, I believe, is in Thailand, so we need to go to Southeast Asia, and there it is. But here we have a new enemy, the Stone Dolls. Uh, let's see. Anything unique about them? Okay, they have 800 HP. They are weak to thunder. But honestly, at this point, Gen doesn't have second level thunder magic, so I really don't care about that weakness. If they're weak to ice, then yeah, I would have Mina deal with it, but they're not. Um, they hit you for roughly 100-ish damage a pop, so, yeah. So, yeah, pretty vanilla enemies there. Nothing, um, really of note to, uh, talk about with them. But, yeah, here we are. Let's head on inside. Looks like, uh, Indonesia's right down there, past Thailand. Huh. Anchor Wat I thought was built in a jungle. An outdoor temple. Oh, really? Your master? Huh. Oh, um, wait here and do nothing! And wander around like crazy people. Uh. Yeah, us? Hey, you untrained teenagers, can you go help us? You know, we are trained monks, but sure, whatever. Yeah, that's just the way it is. I'll be showing today's, or the uh, diary in today's end slate, so yeah, look forward to that. But let's just head on inside here. And here we have another new enemy. Ooh, we surprised them. Nice. These are the uh, stone leaders. They don't have any weaknesses to speak of. They have 1,300 HP. And what they can do is they can actually remove a character from battle. It wouldn't actually kill the character. It just, like, it, they, they produce some sort of fissure. And then your character falls inside the hole, I guess. And, uh, yeah, they're just gone. Yeah, okay, so you're going to see it right here. So Heath is gone. Yeah, he's not dead. He's just swallowed up. Kind of reminds me of the Limbo spell in Dragon Warrior 3. We just don't have to go back to Ruida's Tavern to uh, gather him. So yeah, he's just going to come right back after battle. So yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, so in here there's some pitfalls that we have to deal with. And another new monster. This is the Black Hole. Um, let's see, anything? No, nothing really. You know what, let's just have you guys do auto battle, because, um, actually looking at my monster list, no monsters in here have any weaknesses to speak of at all. Now this black hole move is kind of a bastard move right there, yeah. It removes your weapon from you. So you actually have to go back into the menu after the battle's over and re-equip your weapon. It doesn't, like, you know, destroy your weapon. It just, yeah, it removes it from him. So now he's punching and dealing one damage. It really sucks. He also has a um, an ability where he can lower your entire party's speed, which is highly annoying. So, yeah, you know what? Now that you have your weapon removed, use thunder, use whatever. I don't really care what you use on them, but it's better than dealing one damage. Um, oh, another thing that I did... I went ahead and I equipped the Poison of Guards on um, all of my characters because... Really? You removed Heath's weapon of all people? His magic attack sucks! Man, we're never gonna get through this. Uh, yeah, but anyway, you're gonna want some Poison Protection um, coming up in this dungeon, so I figured, you know, we might as well have that equipped off-screen. Oh, these guys are so annoying! But we got them all the same. Okay, so before I forget, let's actually go back and equip all this stuff. You have the strongest equipment. There we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now let's continue on our way. Okay, and over here we get some treasure. Ooh, the broken statue. Nice. We need that to progress. Um, if you go in here, you're going to see that there are three treasure chests, and uh, these treasure chests correspond to various pitfalls. If you take out a treasure here, there's going to be a pitfall that appears. If you notice, there was a pitfall in front of that door when we first came in. 
but if we actually leave the broken statue in here, then that pitfall will uh, go away. If we took out the treasures out of these two chests, then pitfalls would appear on the right and left hand sides of the pathway, and you wouldn't be able to continue on. So what you want to do is leave all the treasures in that room. We will be going back for those treasures though, so don't worry about it. Oh, well, he left you in the dust. Huh, what about that little sparkly thing is down there? Oh, really? Yeah, he meant to uh, leave them alone so we can actually pass through here. In that last battle, Gen gained a level and learned the second level healing spell, so now he's actually a competent healer. Thankfully, yeah, he can actually do something useful in boss battles now. And what do we have over here? Ooh, the strength seed. Nice. I'll probably use that on Gen, either Gen or Heath. I decided to use it on Heath, considering that the only thing that he can do in battle is attack, and Gen has other things that he can do. Oh, sure, yeah, why not? I guess in lieu of save points, they just have this. Yeah. And again, I'll be showing the diary during today's end slate, because we haven't seen it in a while. Okay, so what do we got going on over here? With the Mad Hand, we can't do anything with that yet, but remember it for later. Oh, okay, here we have some new enemies, and they are not weak to anything, actually. They have 1800 HP. Um, they're rather annoying because they can actually seal all of your spells. I want to say, yeah, it's this spell. Hold Ia, I guess, and yeah, it seals our psycho abilities. That really sucks. Um, they're not weak to anything, so it really doesn't matter that much that it sealed our psycho abilities, but it's just there, so we really can only use the strategy of attack. They can also hit you with Megafa, which is the second level fire spell, um, but it seems like they really just want to keep me silent today, even though it already... Wow, really? You're not going to do any of your other abilities? You're just going to sit here and cast stop spell on me over and over and over again? Eh, whatever. They're not hitting me. I mean... Hey, that's fine by me. I don't care. Hey, and we got him. And that's the last of all the enemies uh, here. Ooh. Hey, nice. Okay, but what do we have in here? Ooh, the tapioca bun. Awesome. And uh, what's this? Huh. Oh. Oh, a silver seal. Remember that for later in the game. And before we head up these stairs, make sure that you're fully healed up and you have those poison guards equipped in your accessory slot. Huh? And who are you? Whoa! Yikes! Oh no! Oh, Vishnu? Aren't you a god? Like a Hindu god or something? Like the protector? And creator? Or something like that? Or is she the destroyer? Or is that Shiva? I don't know. Oh, hey. Oh, so it's this one of the same. <laughs> Whenever she said your silly text, I was thinking like your cell phone, like text messages, but no, that couldn't possibly be right. Because in 2009, we didn't have text messaging. At least not in this game we didn't, but we totally did in the real world. Oh, okay, the preserver and protector. Uh-oh. Yikes! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Slarvgaloka? I don't know what that is a reference to. I have no idea. But prepare for boss time against Vishnu himself, or herself, or snake self, or whatever. Anyway, let's see. Use Juki on yourself. Go over here. Use Juki on yourself as well. Uh, Mina, what I want you to do is... Ba -ba -da -ba -da, yeah, just use ice. And uh, Vishnu has 15,000 HP. No weaknesses to speak up. And honestly, attacking is the best way to go. Um, you What you want to do is have Gen and Heath attack and have Mina either cast Refuba or Heal. It's really up to you. Um, you could also have Gen deal with the um, healing as well, but it looks like with the Juki buff, whoa, holy crap! 
that he's dealing much more damage um, than Mina would do. And Mina's faster, too, so yeah. So let's see, just have her heal him up. And that's pretty much it. Oh, whenever I get a spare moment, I also want to use a hibiscus wine. I do not want to forget. I'm always constantly forgetting about that. Yeah, so I just need to make sure that I uh, do that. Okay, so again, you attack, you um, attack. You still need to heal, but there should be an opportunity where you don't have to heal, and then she could use the hibiscus wine. Um, because Vishnu has other things that he can do besides throwing scales at me all the time. Which is, uh, he can poison your entire party, which really sucks. Uh, he can lower your speed, which is what I wish that he would do. Because, you know, if he lowers your speed, who really cares? He's not attacking you, he's not dealing any damage to you. Throwing the scales is probably the worst thing that he can do. Next to this fire attack that can- oh, no! 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 Ugh. Well, this at least gives me an opportunity to show you something. So, let's see. What I'm gonna use is my Love Psycho that supposedly revives a party member. Let's check this out. Oh look! It didn't actually target him! It targeted somebody else! Yeah, you cannot revive your party members in battle. It will always target somebody else. It's a real bastard move, and I really can't stand it! It makes this game so much harder than it has to be. And it makes these battles much more long and drawn out. And I know that I talked about this um, in a previous video, but apparently it's a bug with the ROM. Like, it wasn't this way in the original SNES version, but whoever dumped the ROM, they, they dumped a buggy version or something. I don't really know how all that technical stuff works, but I know that they basically screwed us over, is pretty much all I know. However, the translators are aware of this, and hopefully they will be able to contact some sort of bug fixer person and um, get it fixed and maybe come out with like, you know, a, an update patch or something that, that would hack the game and actually, you know, deal with this bug because it is really, really ridiculous that you can't revive your party members in battle. I've never played any other video game where you cannot revive your party members in battle. It's just ridiculous. So yeah, this guy's gonna take uh, quite a bit and if we don't kill him in this next round, I'm just going to fast forward until we do. Woohoo! Hey, we got her! Nice! I wonder if that actually doubled for Heath. I kinda doubt it. Yeah, she didn't level anything up. Oh, that sucks. Oh man, the one time that I remember he used that stupid wine and he dies because of a freaking bug. Oh, that pisses me off. Yeah, you're not so tough without your car. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? You look like somebody from Dragon Ball Z. Not that I've ever seen or read or watched Dragon Ball Z, but there was a video game about it that was kind of fun. A sexy snake? Ew! Are you like into bestiality or something? What's your problem, Heath? Besides, aren't you engaged to I? Ugh. Oh. Well, how convenient. Well, let's go, uh, touch it. Okay. I wonder if that's like a reference to Earthbound, where they had the sound stones there, making different sounds and noises. But here, it's kind of like polar opposite, where it's the stone, they, they explicitly state that the stone sits silently, you know? And uh, we're about to get yet another Earthbound reference here. Yeah, it, it, it's never ending with this Earthbound references. Ooh, nice. Yeah, everybody gets their chakra leveled up to three, including Basil's chakra up to three. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what commands actually go up to level three as well. They have to tell us each and every one. Thanks. Basically what happens is, is if you over level your chakra, like if you get more experience points than you need um, previously, then 
yeah, you get extra levels for your chakra like this, which is fine, whatever. It just means that I don't have to level it up again. Uh, yep. Oh wait, that you've come into contact with? You've hit all three, two? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Rahahahili! <laughs> you touched the exact same ones that we touched, even though you weren't even in Japan. How unusual. You would think that he would have touched other ones like in Asia and stuff. Oh, that's right, she has telepathy. Kind of forgot about that. But Paula did too, so hey, makes sense. Oh, really? Okay, and we get more party members with Pooh. I mean, um, Basil joining our party. You know, a monk that has all sorts of magical abilities, including all three elemental attacks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, will it ever end? Oh, okay. At least you didn't have to go through some sort of meditation process where you, like, get your eyes gouged out and your limbs chopped off and everything. That was so freaky to me as a kid. Oh. In the kitchen? You're hanging out in the kitchen while your master's, like, dying? What's wrong with you people? Okay. Oh, yeah. Certainly. Oh, okay. Go back to Poking Cabin. Yeah, check on I. Why not? Might as well. Eh, probably, but she could use a visit. Oh, well, if you say so. But let's check out, um, Basil. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and give him the Mad Hand. That's actually a pretty decent piece of equipment, and it can cast, it can proc poison, um, as well. So that's pretty cool. And then if we look at his psychos, it says that he doesn't have any psychos, which I guess is another bug, because once you get into a battle with him, he's going to have a shit ton of psychos. But as far as his chakras are concerned, yeah, he has to start all over at one, so we'll just stick him on power for right now. And I'll go over the chakras and the new ones next time. Uh, but one thing that I do want to do is head back to that treasure room on the first floor. Um, if this Fat-ass monk would ever move the hell out of the damn way. Thank you. So I'm just going to meet you there. Here I am. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, the anchor sword. Awesome. The anchor armor. Sweet. And we can get back our uh, broken statue. Nice. Another thing? Let's actually look at uh, Basil's Psycho now that I've got a new couple battles. Yeah, his Psycho all appears here. He gets all elemental attacks, second level elemental spells as well, plus some debuffs. So that's pretty nice. Very good, very good, very good. And next time on Let's Play God, we're going to head on back and uh, check on I, head over to Hanmaka City as well. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stick around for the end slate. Have a good day.